This week, we've been paying tribute to the thousands of lives lost on September 11th, which was 20 years ago tomorrow. CBS Sunday Mornings' Lee Cowan shares his essay about that day and remembers those who did not come home and the loved ones that they left behind. Color. It was just one of the casualties of that bright Tuesday morning. Gray became the shade of everything, like fresh fallen snow minus its tranquil purity. Journalists, poets, historians, musicians, they've all tried to describe it, but words often fail in the face of pictures. We remember the images of the lucky who got out. The honors given to those who didn't. And the words that made us feel just a little less vulnerable. And the people who knocked these buildings down will hear all of us soon. In the 20 years since that awful day, we've seen births and deaths, marriages, divorces, even wars come and go. But the number of souls who remember 9-11 is growing smaller. Like any great calamity, time unwittingly throws dirt on the past, and there will come a time when unearthing it will take some effort. But behind every memorial and the crevices of every carved stone, are the ghosts of everything that changed that day for generations to come. What is constant in the history of loss is the reverence for sacrifice, something that isn't always voluntary. For those who survived, sacrifice is forced. And it is in their memory, the descendants of those who went to work one day and never came home, to the sons and daughters of those who rushed to the scene and never came home the husbands and the wives of those who were deployed and never came home. It's for them that we pause these 20 years on, just as much as we remember those who were actually lost. It is so important, Lee Cowan, that was beautifully, beautifully really? done. Thank you so much.